tutorial to 3D PDF with Inventor models exported to DWF files. The next three videos are going to teach you to insert 3D Inventor models in the PDF file. Inventor allows to export three types of files DWF, the Native Assembly and Parts File extensions IAM and IPT, and DWG files. It is recommended to choose DWF as a file format which is ideal for 3D PDFs, even when you handle large projects. The single file contains the entire project, has a high compression level, reduced size, and you can send and import it to 3D PDF Maker very fast. Furthermore, the DWF file perfectly maintains transparency and the assembly and part structure. All this is important to produce professional PDF documents, as illustrated in tutorials 10, 11 and 12. So, ask the person who is going to provide you the Inventor project file to export a DWF file in the complete mode with the first four options enabled. In 3D PDF Maker, open the file Tutorial 1.0 and zoom it properly with the relative button or the mouse scroll wheel. Press Add 3D to select an area for your model insertion. Click on Convert from File and in Libraries Documents 3D PDF Maker for Inventor Tutorial select the file excavator.dwf. Wait until the file is uploaded. The 3D view window opens. The model orientation is not correct. Press the Rotate button a few times until you can see the 3D model correctly as it's indicated. Then press the button Confirm. Adjust the zoom with the mouse scroll wheel. Click the Pan button to center the model in the 3D view. Finally, confirm it by clicking the button with a green check mark in the top left hand corner. The 3D model has been imported in the PDF file. Click on Show Preview with Adobe Reader. The PDF file is opened in Adobe Reader. Holding down the left mouse button, move the mouse horizontally to rotate the model. You have created your first 3D PDF file with an Inventor project, exported in the DWF file format. Now quit Adobe Reader, go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF file by clicking the red icon with the cross in the top right hand corner, without saving the file. In the 3D PDF Maker tutorial folder, open the file Tutorial 2.2 and zoom it properly. Press Add 3D to select an area for your model insertion, as indicated. Click on Convert from File and from the 3D PDF Maker for Inventor Tutorial folder, select the file engine.dwfx. Please wait until the 3D View dialog box opens. The model is already correctly oriented. Click Confirm. Holding down the left mouse button, rotate the model. Adjust the zoom with the mouse scroll wheel and confirm by clicking on the button with the green check mark in the top left hand corner. Click Show Preview with Adobe Reader. The PDF file is opened in Adobe Reader. Holding down the left mouse button, rotate the model. You have inserted in the PDF brochure a real inventor project exported to the DWF file format. Before quitting, you may compare two render modes. CAD Optimized Lights and Headlamp. If you wish, you can save the file in the My 3D PDF folder or some other folder with the name you prefer. Now, quit Adobe Reader, 
go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF file by clicking on the red cross in the top right hand corner without saving the file. If you have Inventor installed on your PC or your company makes use of this software product, then you will have dozens of projects at your disposal. So export some large project to the DWF file format using the indicated options. With 3D PDF Maker import the project in the Tutorial 1.0 folder and finally click and show preview with Adobe Reader, open the PDF file in Adobe Reader. You may note how smooth the 3D model rotation is and with the right mouse click you may perfectly handle its parts. So for projects created with Inventor the best way to import them in 3D PDF Maker is the DWF file format that will allow you to produce stunning 3D PDF files also with complex models and considerably large file size. At the end of this video session, close the tutorial dialog window. You will be able to access tutorials whenever you want by clicking on the tutorial button in the menu or on the button Open Tutorial in the initial 3D PDF Maker dialog window.